Some men just want to watch the world burn. Or just memeify it to hell and back and make sure that it's just a wonderful ride for the rest of us. Who actually thought that Elon Musk, the bastion of all that was leftist, the bastion of climate change, I mean, the guy sends rockets to space because he believes so deeply in this. Who would have thunk just a couple of years ago that this would be the guy that everybody cannot shut up about? And it's gotten to the point where now I have to talk about it because... Like, I can't find any other news right now to talk about. Like, Elon Musk has become the pop culture. <laughs> it's so good. With Alyssa Milano and her stupid tweet about supporting a company, you know, that was started by the bad guy of World War II himself over Elon Musk. Uh, which was absolutely hilarious to Apple potentially banning him and Google possibly banning him. And then Elon Musk comes out and goes, well, if you ban me, I'll just make my own phone. And here's the problem. He's the one guy rich enough on the planet and probably smart enough on the planet to actually build his own phone and completely override the Google and Apple stranglehold on the market. And then create his own stranglehold and from that stranglehold we will, the world will be remade in the image of Elon Musk. Hey, look at that. It's an article. Oh, hey, full screen. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> now that Elon Musk's Twitter is reinstating the accounts of users that were previously banned from the uh, the platform, including former President Donald Trump, the prospect of Apple and Google banning Twitter from their app stores suddenly doesn't look entirely unlikely. So I will say this, and a lot of people have said this, it is completely hilarious to me that the thing that makes them want to ban Twitter is not the uh child predators that they've had on twitter for years that twitter refused to do anything about but the fact that they're reinstating some wrong thinkers oh boy that should tell you all that you need to know <clears throat> Should that ever happen, Musk says, uh, he's ready to simply build his own phone. That wasn't in quotes. Hmm, did he actually say that? Possibly, maybe. With presumably an app store of its own. Well, I mean, yeah, that would be the point. Because the the phone, I mean, the, the phone doesn't really matter. The app, I mean, literally all he would have to do is just get an app store that you can just download here onto the Android. Like, that. that's it. Like, it's not that hard. There are plenty of third-party softwares that do this stuff all the time. So, anyway, I certainly hope it does not come to that. But, yes, <clears throat> if there is no other choice, I will make an alternative phone. He tweeted in response to a user asking what would happen if Apple and Google booted Twitter from their app stores. Um, I honestly, I think this is all for show. One, I think this is just a bunch of rich people having fun with their toys and it's personally entertaining to me because well i'm not rich enough to literally use one of the world's largest communication centers and hubs as a personal plaything of my own but if i were oh i totally do it in a heartbeat it's like not even a question oh i would screw with people so much every day if i had that much money oh oh it would be great i would become the internet Oh, wait, no, I'm not John Delarose. Never mind. Neither Apple or Google have officially said <clears throat> or indicated they plan to ban Twitter. No, because they would probably, people would switch to whatever garbage rate phone that they could to be on Twitter. I think the addiction to social media supersedes that of having the Apple um, uh, logo in your pocket. And actually what would probably do is people probably keep their Apple stuff so that way they could save face and they could show, oh, see, I, I, mm -hmm, I got the phone that doesn't have Twitter on it and then pull out the other phone from their pockets and go over here and tweet about it. I, I think the social media addiction is getting to most of these people and it's absolutely hilarious to watch. Though both companies do not have policies in place that prevent hate, speech, discrimination, and harassment, both companies have at one point banned Parler, a right-wing alternative to Twitter through... <clears throat> though Apple let it return to its app store in April 2021 and Google Reed instated the app this September after it made improvements to its moderation policies. Yeah, basically what happened is Twitter was about to get completely railed on by Parler because 
everybody was just like, nope, we're Audi 5000. And then Parler, in their infinite wisdom, being utterly stupid as they were, didn't actually have the infrastructure to back it up. I remember that. That was hilarious. I was just like, wow, hell, A Drink With Crazy was on Parler. And we actually got, a in the early days of this channel, we actually got a lot of engagement over there for as tiny as the channel was. I like 20 or 30 subscribers at the time. Uh, but yeah, no. And so that it was it was a cabal of people that decided that they wanted the wrong thinkers not to have a place and they nuked it and now the problem is the reason that they're batting this back and forth is one they probably make a lot of money off of twitter being downloaded on their app stores all the advertisements this that and the other thing and two if they did that they do they really want to give the guy more power to actually try to just poke fun at them because i don't think that elon musk is some bas is some bastion of free speech or he actually believes in it i literally think i don't know i could be wrong i've never met the guy i don't know the guy i don't know but i think he's just doing this because he loves to meme stuff and he was probably sitting there one night and went like how much money do i have i got enough to throw up a pretty good meme Let's meme the world. I, I don't know. That's just a personal belief of mine. That's where I'm at. Musk previously said he would not uh, reinstate any Twitter account uh, without uh, forming a content moderation council with widely diverse viewpoints. Okay, yeah. So he's got the anti, uh, he's got the anti speech people there. Like we all knew that he would because nobody wants free speech. We just want enough speech to let us say the things we want to, and we don't want other people to say the things we don't want to. Uh, most of the time you can just walk away from that stuff, but you know, a lot of people don't, but he quickly backpedaled on that reinstating Trump's account after, um, uh, conducting a Twitter poll, which was glorious by the way, and hilarious. The company also experienced a wave of him, um, um, impersonation, impersonations and fake news after Musk decided to turn Twitter's blue check mark. Originally a way to verify a user's identity into something you can buy for $8 a month, which also comes with verification, by the way, which was hilarious because the rich people and the people who thought they were better than the drudges of society can, well, you can get it for $8, but, but that means somebody else can have a blue check mark just like me. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, how dare you sell my identity for $8? How dare you? Oh, it's lovely to watch these people cry. And honestly, I've been watching this for like months at this point. And I just got to a point where I was like, you know what? Let's have fun with this one because that's what I'm doing. Apple and Google banning Twitter from their app stores would certainly be an enormous uh, detriment to Twitter. Um, I think you I, I think it would be the other way around. I think if it got banned off of the Apple and Google store, only the people who don't really care about Twitter um like you'd get people like me that i'd like send out the tweets like from my desktop like when i'm home at night but there are people that have to live on twitter i think it would be a detriment to google and apple from those people as the vast majority of smartphones uh smartphone users globally would be unable to easily access the app and would need to resort to the web version to use the platform not if he just built his own apk and you could just get around the app store like it's that easy it's 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 really not it's, it's not hard mines mines has an apk other places you go to the web version it goes bam hey download us right here you'll have an app on your phone and it like it's it's that it's it's really it's it's quite simple it's it's not as complicated as these these uh article writers are they journalists i don't think they're journalists anyway and even if musk were <clears throat> to build his own alternative phone turning it into a viable product with a thriving ecosystem of apps would be a tough task even for the world's richest man not with the popularity this guy has i really don't think so i really do not believe but for any reason that elon musk wouldn't be able to pull off this stuff just to me he's dedicated to the meme ladies and gentlemen i don't think you understand the man wants to be the meme he wants to be the meme he can feel the meme he wants to become one with it i think that this man would do it just because he probably already has a phone that he's been working on for like four seconds i don't know how long it takes elon musk to think of stuff supposedly he's a lot smarter than i am i don't know but i i mean you know a five-year-old with a red crayon's a lot smarter than i am but anyway 
I think that if Elon Musk is talking about these things already, there's probably a very good chance he's already crunched the numbers. He's already got something in development. And if they banned him off Twitter, he'd go, here's my phone, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming to market tomorrow. And it would probably be the biggest ad campaign on the flipping planet. And people would rush out to buy the new Tesla phone, right? That integrates with your Tesla and all of your electronics. Kind of like Iron Man, but also spies on you at the same time because, you know, why not? But ladies and gentlemen, that's my thought on the Twitter drama. And I was like, man, there's nothing else to cover. What do you think? Down below, let me know. Love me or hate me. I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what you think about this whole Twitter thing. Because, man, I just couldn't not talk about it. I've like I've been avoiding it for weeks at this point. And it's the like it's almost the only thing out there right now. And so I was like, all right, you know what? I'll talk about it. I'll get it out of my system. I'll flush the pipes out as they say <laughs> and we'll talk about it but love me or hate me down in the comments below just remember i always dedicate a special live stream to all of my comments and commenters on sundays at 11 a.m on sunday mornings and don't forget to tune in this friday to a drink with crazy for iron age nights number seven with james craig who sent me this lovely advanced copy of infinite money glitch his newest novel that's getting ready to release on december 5th baby it's in december it's coming up real soon but yeah so join us to talk with that author james craig to talk about the uh quite comical uh and interesting take he has on the whole video game culture and realm through his new novel money glitch so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for being here don't forget to subscribe on your way out do that for me that would be utterly fantastic like this video and show youtube and the algorithm that scrubs like me can actually be loved a little bit please a little bit maybe <laughs> but just remember until next time cheers everybody Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.